And then I went to bed at 11 p.m. So it would have been you know, totally impossible for me to use your keyboard. Thank you. Is that it? And uh, I hope that we catch the criminal and lock him up. Good job, Nick. Yeah. Great work. Kyle, we've been best friends since we were little kids. Jesus Christ. We played in Little League together. We even copied each other's math tests. Mrs. Humphreys was blind as a bat, wasn't she? <laughs> Whoa, cool. I remember our first high school dance. You took Olivia Reed and I took Pam Allsmith. And by the end of the night, they were both practically fighting over you. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Pam was like all over you that night. Yeah, only because she was trying to make you jealous. Man, those girls sure know how to use tanks. What does this have to do with the keyboard? Nick, come on. Beck didn't interrupt you. This is so obvious, okay? Why do you think he spent so much time on these crappy animations? He used your keyboard, and now he's trying to water it down with these stupid cartoons. Kyle, it's okay. He's right. We're not here to talk about some of the best times of our lives. We're not here to talk about a lifelong bond or an unstoppable brotherhood. We're here to talk about the keyboard and if you used it or not. Yeah, I played it for a couple hours yesterday. It's okay. What the hell, Kyle? When I used your keyboard, you ignored me for three months. And I don't know what the hell Beck's talking about growing up together. You guys grew up on opposite sides of the country. I met you before Beck did. He's just making this up about copying each other's homework every day in Mrs. Gumfrey's class. It's Humphrey. Whatever, whoever it is that you made up. And we didn't copy it every day. Half the time we didn't show up, right, Scooter? Scooter? Remember Old Man's Creek? I love that dog. Kyle, that's a painting of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Oh. I think I get it now. Beck, we didn't grow up with each other, did we? And that's just an oil painting, isn't it? Yeah. It is. And no, we didn't. <sighs> what the hell's going on? We didn't grow up together, Kyle. Because... We are each other. What? I knew it. I wanted to wait until you grew up a little bit. I just didn't know if you were ready. Until now. Yes. We're the same person. I'm the light side and you're the dark side. I have to destroy me. Unfortunately, that's true. And then you gotta give your keyboard to me because technically it's both of ours. Okay, you know what, I'm sorry. Just relax, okay? You're not the same person and you don't have to destroy anything. Look, Beck, use your keyboard and you know what? Last week I used your bath towel and couldn't find mine but I washed it afterwards. Who cares? Can we just move on? Okay. I think I've heard enough. Great. I'm ready to make my decision. Nick, you owe me one dollar. <laughs> Fine. Here you go. Thank you. Congratulations. I don't know who you are, but you put on one hell of a show. Thanks, Cal. Hey, yeah, it's me. We won the case. We are anxiously awaiting at what turns out to be one of the largest trials in history. Mr. Bennett, a lot of people are saying that the most critical piece of evidence in this case was the prom date tank battle. Could you comment on that, please? You know, this has been a really long week, and I'm just looking forward to getting home and spending some time with my family, okay? Oh, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bennett, please. Mr. Bennett. No, that's enough, okay? Oh, Mr. Bennett, do you still keep in touch with Ms. Humphreys? 